All right, what's up guys? So today, let me show you my new, new to me, 1996 truck camper. This is a Northern Light 9.6 light version, and it weighs 1,833 pounds, which is super light for modern standards. This same camper, brand new, is about 2,800 pounds, almost 1,000 pounds heavier. And I got a brand new 2022 Ram 3500 uh, diesel, and the payload on this is 3,500 pounds. So I have almost 17, 1,600 pounds left where I can tow a Jeep, tow a boat, uh, pull some dirt bikes, or honestly anything that I wanted to, which is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to, to also pull something with the truck. That way I could go wherever I want. Or I can take this to a ski resort, go surfing with it, and I can still fit in a normal parking spot. So it's kind of like a van, but not really, but I can take this off, because originally I was gonna buy a van. But anyway, it's a was a one owner. I got it from Idaho. I drove from Pennsylvania to Idaho to pick it up. Got it for 5,000 bucks. And uh, nothing's wrong with it. Everything works. AC, all the propane appliances, the refrigerator, um, all the sewer lines work, water pump. Uh, all the lights work. I already swapped them over to LED just to save a little bit of power and make it brighter. But yeah, so give you guys a tour and show you everything. I plan on living out of this for a couple months, uh, maybe longer, traveling out west and then keeping it hopefully for a long time. So yeah, give you a tour. All right, so as I stated, I got a brand new 2022 Cummins long bed, 3500, and got the camper on the back. As you can tell, it's pretty short compared to newer campers. Newer truck campers will probably be another foot to two foot higher than this. I'm at around 10 foot six. So some of them go up to 13 feet when they're in the back of these trucks. But up on the front, you've got no window, which I actually like. It would be nice to see out at night or, or even during the day, see, if, see pretty views or whatever, but uh, less chances for leaks up there and I can always put a solar panel and then you've got a window in the bed, and you got also got, gonna have a window on the other side. And then the biggest thing with the Northern Lights is this seam right here. It's a two-piece fiberglass clamshell, so as you can follow that seam, it's just one piece on top of, a, on top of another, which uh, is better for leaks and stuff come wintertime or rain. And this is the main reason I wanted the Northern Light and drove out to Idaho to get this, is because it's the two-piece like all Northern Lights are. And then the bottle jacks, are, are just normal little bottle jacks. I wish they were electric, but it's not the end of the world. And as you can see, it's a pretty tight fit on my truck, but uh, does the job. So in here, you have got the power cord. It's probably about a, maybe a 10, 12 foot extension. And it's just a, a normal uh, 15, 20 amp plug, which is nice. You can plug into any house outlet um, or any generator. In here, you've got your water tank fill. And then in here, there's two propane tanks. So the other one's behind behind this one, obviously. Um, but yeah, a lot of old truck campers only have one propane tank, which is fine. But if you're camping in the winter, then you run out of propane, you're actually out where I can just come out here and flip a switch. In here, you've got the hot water heater. And this is a manual lighting hot water heater. You're gonna have to stick a lighter into here to get the pilot to light, um, which is, not the most convenient thing in the world but not the end of the world either and then in here you got the city fill here is an outdoor shower which I'll show you guys as well see if I can uh, get my keys to unlock it so you got an outside shower and then right here there's actually a stand that the shower will will sit on itself so you don't have to hold it because we actually had a brand new 2022 travel trailer we had to hold the outside shower the whole time so it was kind of uh, pointless you got the back chains here. As you can see, it's a pretty tight fit with my truck. Uh, I wanted the weight as far forward as possible, and also so it wasn't sticking out any farther than it needed to. And then under here, you've got the gray and black tank. And what's nice about this, I'll show you on this side, is it's actually got a little hose piece that you can, I'm not gonna do it, but that little knob you can actually turn, and then you can hook up just a little normal garden hose and let the water drain out that way. And then I got my seven pin plugged in there. And I'll show you the seven pin is all the way up here as well, up, up under the truck camper. So yeah, that's it for the side. Over here you got your bottle jacks, your ladder. I'll give you a good, a good view. So you got the door. That left storage compartment is the gray and black tank uh, valves. So it does not lock, but you just turn it. And then right in there, is your black and gray valve. Black is on the left, the bigger pipe, gray is a smaller pipe. 
And then over here, if I can get my keys, over here is the battery. So I already swapped it out for a lithium battery that I had in our old Class A motorhome. As you can see, got a Lion Energy in there. Lithium 100 amp hour. I wish I could fit two, but it's a very small compartment, so I cannot. But I'm gonna be getting a solar generator. And then you got your, your tail lights and turn signals and all that. And then another nice thing is you got a little level here. And then you're also gonna have a little level over here uh, for either when you're at a campsite or taking this off. So again, that's the, uh, the back of the camper. And it's nice because it sits really high. It's flush, it doesn't have the drop down. Some campers will have a drop down piece that brings it down. And uh, not that I'm gonna be off-roading with this, but I'm gonna wanna take it places. So on this side, all you really got is the dump tank storage for the, or sorry, the hose storage. And then over on this side, really nothing special. You just got the back of the fridge and then the back of the propane heater where the, the excess is gonna come out. So yeah, again, just two piece fiberglass is the main reason I wanted this or any Northern Light over any other brand. And the fact that I got this for $5,000 to me seems like a steal. So yeah, that's the outside. All right, so one more thing I did forget to mention is that this piece of glass or plastic in this back window, you can see straight through from when you're driving through the rear view mirror. And my back window is tinted, so to be able to see you through here better, I have to open that up, but I have an electric button, which is nice on the newer trucks. And I can see right through here and see if there's a car behind me uh, or if I'm backing up somewhere or, or whatever. It's just nice to be able to see behind me since I did lose my rear view camera when I took the tailgate off. I could always wire something in up there, do a wireless one, but for now, this works and it's better than nothing. So yeah, now we're gonna take you on to the inside. And then there's a little door latch over here. And then the steps just come out and lock in. Now I'll take you guys inside. All right, so this is the steps going up into the camper. You got a screen door. So I'm filming this on the GoPro, so the audio probably won't be as good, but it gives a lot better, wider view of everything. So got a little handle and a light for there at nighttime. And then when you walk in, you've got the bathroom right on your left and the dinette on your right. So got the kitchen, bed, a refrigerator on the right, pantry on the left, and then a skylight and air conditioner. And then these are just holding up this carpet. It comes delaminated sometimes from the fiberglass top. So nothing's wrong, it's just holding up the carpet up to the ceiling. Um, it happens a lot on older truck campers. So uh, this is the front, got the, the bed. I believe this is almost a queen size bed because this is the light version. So it's actually not a queen, I believe. And then this is how it looks from the, the front of the camper. So um, start with the dinette. So what's nice is this table will actually move. And uh, most tables are stationary. So it's just nice that it, it can move around to be able to squeeze in here or whatnot. And then this will actually come down to here, go across, and that back piece will then go here and it'll turn into a probably a twin size bed. So you can maybe fit two little kids or, or an adult. I guess you could fit two adults uncomfortably if you're on a road trip. Got a radio, which works. Um, and then you got storage compartments in here, storage compartments in here, and this is pass-through, so can fit longer items if needed. And then up there, you've got your carbon monoxide detector, and it's off right now. Um, and then this is the bathroom, so there is a mirror, and then that's the floor. <laughs> uh, so you got the, the skylight. I do wish there was a fan in there. Uh, I might end up putting a fantastic fan in there and try to run some wires, get some airflow in here. Uh, I've got a shower curtain, and then it goes around on that rail up there. And that's how you take your shower. But I'm 5'8", and I have to duck in here. So I probably won't be showering here too often unless I have to. You have an eight gallon black tank. And then, yeah, that's your sink. So, and like a little, little mirror. So nothing, nothing fancy. I'll probably be showering outside more often. And then this latch comes and locks. So over here, you've got a fire hydrant and four burner stove, oven, everything works, which is awesome. And then you've got storage up here. 
storage up here. It does not have a microwave or a TV. Um, I would love to honestly replace the oven with a microwave if possible, uh, but that would be down the line. And then one thing I do love, which I don't even know if I'll use it or not, but the fact that this guy still had this uh, little countertop thing from 1996 when he bought it. Like I said, this is a one owner and the guy took great care of it. So just the fact that he has that shows me that he clearly took care of this thing. Uh, he did replace the, the faucet. I believe this is the original sink. And then just like a little towel holder and stuff over there. And then this is the only outlet in the whole truck camper. So my plan is to probably add another outlet up on this wall so I can charge my phone at night or play my laptop. And then another thing is the, the fuse panel, everything's down there, would be to add another outlet down here. So when you're at the dinette, you can charge your laptop or, or whatever. So um, over back by the kitchen, we have got a utensil drawer and then another utensil style drawer for whatever. And then one part I really love, uh, I'm not a truck camper expert. This is my first truck camper. Um, so we glued this one inch foam insulation on the back, just help a little bit. Um, but you can see right into the truck bed and that's the seven pin wire. And down there is two by 10 pieces of wood that the truck camper is sitting on with rubber mats to keep the uh, truck camper off my cab since the newer cabs on these trucks are much bigger. Um, it was pretty much touching my cab when we first put it on. So it's just nice. I can store hoses and stuff out there blocks and then this is the bottom of the water tank just a little storage or i wouldn't really store anything back there but access the, the pipes another storage and then that's like a little seat and then under that's the water tank it can screw and come off and then that's the back of the truck and i kind of wish that was like a little fire escape so i could climb through into my truck if i was camped somewhere sketchy but it's not but again i can see through that right through the back when the door is closed uh and it's like a little river mirror so got the air conditioner up here. I don't know the BTUs, but I mean, this space is so small that it, it cools down in about 10 minutes. And then the propane heater over there. Again, this I was in Wyoming and it was probably 25 degrees at night. And I had that thing running for five, 10 minutes and I was, I was toasting here, I had to turn it off. So got the water pump. Again, everything works that I am aware of that I have tried. And then in here you have a pantry, or sorry, not a pantry, a little closet, hang some clothes. And then this is a five cubic foot fridge, which is actually pretty big. It's AC, DC, and gas, which is really nice. Uh, and then you can put it on auto in case you run out of propane or something. Um, and then you got the freezer up here. So uh, this is actually probably a little bit smaller than the one we had in our travel trailer. But for how small and old this camper is, it's... Um, actually much larger than normal truck campers of this year. So over here is your pantry and it's actually pretty big for a little truck camper. I mean, we, I could fit plenty of stuff in here for, for me and Maddie. And then over here, just got our specs and your uh, spice rack. So it's actually nice. Our class A didn't have any sort of spice rack. And so this will definitely come in handy. Um, and then he has an old thermostat for the inside and outside on here. But yeah, that's pretty much for the uh, the back of the camper. Um, again, fire hydrant down there, dinette, bathroom, kitchen. And then up here is the bed. It is not a full queen size bed. I believe it's just under because it's the light version. But over here, you have storage for socks, underwear, pants, shorts, shirts. I mean, you could fit a good amount. It goes from here all the way over there and it's passed through. And then you got windows up there two LED lights. Again, I swapped and put in these LED lights. And then over here, you've got a solar charge controller, which I'll probably end up replacing. And then that's the thermostat for the heater, not for the AC, just the heater. And then my favorite part that I think all truck campers have, honestly, is this little skylight. So you can crank that knob and look up into the sky. And then it's also like a little fire escape and you can climb up onto the roof or take pictures. Uh, just super cool and uh, definitely dig it. So yeah, guys, that is it for the inside. I think I covered everything. I'll just show you guys one more time. There she is, 1996 Northern Light 9.6 Light Edition. All right, so that's the cab of my truck. I'm currently in the, the window hatch and this is the roof. So again, it's, it's a two piece fiberglass. So the top is literally just one piece, which is nice. 
for rain, snow, I don't have to worry about leaks. And this thing's super warm, and it's also very small, so it doesn't take much to heat or cool the place down. That's the AC. So I believe that's the original solar panel, which I'm gonna be replacing. I already ordered four 100 watt panels. So I'm gonna be ending up putting two along this long piece, one here, and then one behind the AC. But um, yeah, so these are the rails that I was telling you that he had screwed in to hold up the, the carpeting. So again, nothing wrong, Just it's just holding up the carpeting. And you have rails back there for attachments. So over here, my plan is to hopefully put surfboards uh, going from there to about right here is nine foot. And uh, yeah, so it won't be, won't be perfect, but be able to put some surfboards on the roof instead of putting them inside here, which would be nice, or skis. But yeah, that's the roof of the camper. It's in really good condition. I am gonna wipe it down, reseal some of these, re stuff, and uh, I would love to replace, that's the bathroom, uh, that's the bathroom vent cover. I would love to replace that with a fantastic fan. That way I can actually get some air pulling in or pulling out of the bathroom. But yeah, that's the roof. All right guys, so again, this is my 1996 Northern Light truck camper. It was a one owner, I got it from a guy in Idaho. And this is my 2022 Ram 3500 crew cab long bed diesel. And again, the truck camper is 1,833 pounds. I believe the water tank size is 25 with the hot water heater, which is probably five gallons. So a 20 gallon tank. The black, I believe is eight gallons, which is very small. And the gray, I think is 11 or 12. So the gray and black aren't huge but it's enough where I can go to the bathroom outside if I need to. I can stop somewhere and I can dump the tanks because it's, it's right. It's such a small rig that I can pull in anywhere and it's, it's just super easy. So this summer I'm be heading out to Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado possibly, um, hiking, off-roading and stuff like that. I'm, I'm hoping I can get a dirt bike rack or something mounted on the front. But for now, got the truck and the truck camper and eventually make my way up to Alaska and British Columbia. But uh, Northern Lights are made out of British Columbia, which is why I wanted this. Is the Again, the two-piece fiberglass shell. They're meant for four-season camping, and they're just really good build quality. And the 9.6, brand new, are like 65, 75,000, where I got this for 5,000. I know it's 25 years old, but everything works. Nothing's wrong with it. It does the job. So, yeah, subscribe if you guys aren't. See ya.